Crafters, it's Cynthia again. Um, I just wanted to do a super quick video because I was playing around with my Distress Oxides again, strangely enough, and um, I just discovered something really, really awesome. So I'm going to try it, and I really hope that it turns out for the video, but um, basically I'm taking three colors. I've got Cracked Pistachio, Broken China, and faded jeans and again these are all the distress oxide inks not the regular distress ink and then this is just a little piece of my Strathmore watercolor paper and I am gonna do the more uh, textured side for this but basically and I have this little uh, makeup wedge here which I just like to use for a really quick disposable sponge so um, basically I'm just gonna do a direct to paper technique so I'm just going to, and it doesn't need to be perfect, but I just want to get some very intense ink right onto the paper itself. And I'm going to do a little wiping because I really don't want to cross-contaminate my ink pads if I can help it. It wouldn't be the end of the world, but it wouldn't be good. So I started with the cracked pistachio. Now I'm going to put a little bit of the broken china in. And again, I'm just getting it on there, but I'm trying not to go over the spots that have the green already down. And then the final one will be the faded jeans. And then I'm going to take my little sponge and I think I'll start in the green and I'm also going to grab anything this just happened to be laying on my desk this little scrap and I'm just gonna uh, protect the paper from my fingerprints so now I'm going to start just very roughly smoothing all of this out with my sponge. And I'm just kind of using slightly circular motions and I, I'm a little heavy handed. I generally am with my sponging, which mostly gets me into trouble, but this time around it might not be too bad. And I started in that cracked pistachio because um, I did want to retain at least one area that had a little bit of that pure color just because it's the lightest. So again, and this ink is so awesome for blending. I mean, look at that. Zero skill, a few seconds of time. And you've got something really, really pretty. And that, of course, and see, look at your sponge, kind of a mess. I just toss it. I get a whole bag of those sponges at Target for like a dollar. <laughs> so I don't feel wasteful. Let me clean up my work surface just to tish. Okay, so there is your pretty little panel. And then... What I'm going to do, I want to have um, have a paper towel handy so that I can uh, soak up some of this stuff you're about to see. But anyway, so here is my little mister bottle, and I'm just going to pull back about six inches or so and just give that paper a very nice squirt. And it's going to start curling just a bit because it's wet now and I'm immediately going to come in and really I think I'm actually going to do a little more squirting because the more I do that the more the colors are just going to mix naturally so pardon the sound of my heat tool
Isn't that so pretty? Oh my gosh, I just think it's lovely. And where those colors mix, it's even more spectacular. So isn't that great? That is really, really fun. And um, certainly you have lots and lots of ink on there because of the fact that you just put the uh, ink pad right down. And if you want to, you can, I really, really want um, a speckled look. I don't want to go too far there. I think I should stop now. <laughs> but anyway, that just turned out so beautiful. And the fun thing um, is that I have so many um, ocean themed stamp sets now and little uh, mermaid cut files and all this stuff. And so this simple color combination, um, I, I'm going to use it a lot for that type of card. So I have some new products, so I'm going to be making some more videos. But anyway, isn't this lovely? Oh my gosh, so pretty. And again, I just used those three colors. And it definitely matters that I'm using uh, watercolor paper. And believe me, watercolor paper is not expensive. So um, you can pick some up at Walmart, at Fred Meyers, at any of your craft stores. So it's not an investment. <laughs> Um, and then look, this is what got me so excited. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. And this is Peacock Feathers, uh, Picked Raspberry, and Spice Marmalade. So those are the three colors I used. And as you can see, um, I got some purple here and some beautiful greens. And so all these colors come out because of the mixing of the ink. And the splattering on this one came out fabulous. I only splattered it once and then just air dry it, or heat dried it. All right, so now I am using Abandoned Coral, Cracked Vespaccio, and Fossilized Amber for this combination. And again, I'm just going to go right to my paper with my ink pad, and this is gonna give me really, really intense color and um, lots of ink to work with. And it really isn't wasteful. Um, I don't have any of the, uh, what do they call those re-inkers yet but I think I should definitely get some because I love playing with this ink so now again I'm going to um, use one of my little makeup sponges and I'm going to start in the yellow and I do want to try to retain some uh, pure yellow just because um, you know really if you just mixed and mixed and mixed you'd end up pretty much with a solid color <laughs> that you've created. So I like to try to retain some of the original colors. And um, and of course I'm experimenting as always, so I can see that maybe the cracked pistachio touching the um, abandoned coral, you know, gets just a little muddy, but um, if you just keep working it, and then by the time you add, um, your water and stuff it'll it'll help so I'm also adding a little more of the amber because um, the amber and the pistachio look better together or at least the amber and the coral <laughs> so I'm going to clean that up and there we go like I said it looks a little bit rough but here comes the water and you can see I was using this time my large spray bottle and I really like that because you get a lot more splotchy uh, droplets as opposed to the mist bottle. Um, so you're going to get two different looks depending on the type of uh, squirt bottle you're using. And the other thing I didn't want to do was blot the droplets with a towel um, because that actually takes the color away from the panel and um, I didn't want to do that. I wanted this to be as vibrant as possible. So there it is. I really like this one. So now I'm going to do another combination, worn lipstick, peacock feathers, and cracked pistachio. 
And this time I'm taping it down um, just so that it stays in place and I don't have to worry about trying to hold on to it uh, with a scrap piece of paper under my finger. So this time I am going to be just vertically or horizontally, excuse me, horizontally swiping on my color. And this is pretty straightforward. And I'm going to take another sponge and I'm going to start in that pale cracked pistachio. Slowly work my way down. And then you can see where the colors meet each other, it creates a different color. So sorry, I got a little of that uh, dirty sponge into my abandoned core, or worn lipstick, excuse me, but uh, that's okay. So again, you just kind of want to keep working and working. And this, whoops, this really does go pretty quick. All right. And then, like I said, you know, the water, once you introduce the water and you get the mixing and the splotching and what have you, it really helps kind of mask some of your blending imperfections. So I try not to worry too much. Now this time I am actually soaking up a little of the water because um, I accidentally added way more than I intended. But I'm just going with it. So anywhere I see just a true, you know, lake of water, I'm going to try to pick it up carefully. And then other than that, I'm just going to keep um, drying. And as you can see, I'm changing the direction of my heat tool so that I can actually kind of uh, force the drying into particular areas. So see, that's kind of fun actually. Now I'm just going to very carefully, it isn't 100% dry yet, but that's okay. I can let it finish air drying. And I'm showing you this tape because I wanted to point out that uh, there was still ink all along the edge of the tape. And I'm going to throw that tape away and not reuse it because that ink will transfer to another project if you don't. So anyway, uh, that's basically it for this video. I hope you had fun and I hope you give this technique a try.